And here at home, an alarming new report is shedding light on the number of law enforcement officers killed by the virus. According to the data, COVID-19 has become the biggest killer of officers in South Florida. Despite that, the Miami-Dade PBA president says there's still a lot of resistance to getting the vaccine. CBS 4's Peter Dench joins us live from South Miami Police Headquarters, where the chief there has been very proactive on this subject. Peter? Well, Lauren, South Miami Police Chief Renee Landa is alarmed by this new report showing the coronavirus taking a terrible toll on those in law enforcement. As the president of the Miami-Dade County Association of Chiefs of Police, he has been very outspoken. During the pandemic, he has been urging his officers to get vaccinated. South Miami Police Chief Renee Landa is struck by this report from our news partner, the Miami Herald. The 28 of 33 law enforcement officers in South Florida have lost their lives from COVID-19 in the last two years. It's amazing. I mean, if you see that the number two killers really for police officers is either in a gunfight or usually turning around and being in a car accident. Now you're talking about COVID moving in front of that and just all the officers that have lost their lives to COVID. This memorial service last month honored nine BSO employees who died from the coronavirus. People have to get vaccinated, and that's what we emphasize to our officers. We're not forcing officers to take that. Uh, we can't do that. But what we are doing is emphasizing to them through the studies. 33 of 58 South Miami police employees are vaccinated. That's about 60 percent. The most important thing for us, you know, the chiefs in Dade County, uh, we really care about our personnel. We care about our officers and we really care about their families altogether. That percentage has stayed the same in the past few months, despite the chief's efforts. Some of them are you know, saying to themselves, no, I don't want to get it this time. Uh, I don't feel confident in taking it. I recommend and they do one thing. Number one, do your history on it, do your research on it, talk to your doctor and find out if it's good for you. South Florida PBA President Stedman Stahl says a similar percentage of Miami-Dade officers are vaccinated against the virus. I don't have an exact number, but I believe the number to be, it's going to be probably close to 60 percent. Uh, the, most of the older officers have gotten it. It's the younger officers that have the most fear about it. We asked Stahl why that is so. It's the unknown and the distrust of government. Stahl is against a mandate, but for vaccinations. And I think it's important that people, uh, you know, get the shot. Now, South Miami police have been very proactive in keeping track of officers being vaccinated, but not every agency does that. We reached out to Miami-Dade Police and the Broward Sheriff's Office and Fort Lauderdale Police and all told us that they do not keep track of the number of officers who have been inoculated. We are live in South Miami. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News. Peter, thank you for that update. And our news partners at the Miami Herald reported that Florida accounts for more than 10% of all COVID-19 law enforcement deaths in the U.S. and said most victims were in their 40s and 50s. The report said Miami-Dade Corrections was hit the hardest, losing seven officers. The Herald said three Customs and Border Protection officers at Miami International Airport died of COVID-related illnesses within 15 days of each other.